Hey, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Friday. We got 14 matchups on this MLB slate today, so be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. Uh, if you guys want to become a member today, go ahead and sign up, guys, on our way to 200 members. Love to have you guys be a part of the team. And uh, yeah, we'll hop in it. Pretty busy slate today. 14 matchups. Starting with the Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Baltimore Orioles. Baltimore opening up as home favorites at minus 155. The Pirates plus 130 with the over under at 8.5. Pitching for the Pirates is Mitch Keller with an ERA of 4.37. His last start he pitched 6 innings. Gave up 1 run. Had 3 strikeouts. Pitching for Baltimore is Dean Kramer with an ERA of 3.86. His last start he pitched 4 innings. Gave up six runs, had three strikeouts. Uh, both teams coming into this on a three-game winning streak right now. Um, interesting matchup. Today's slate of games are very, I don't know, I think it's very tough today. Um, crazy. Pittsburgh coming off a great Milwaukee series where they played very well here. Kramer's had a rough three starts on the mound. He's given up 11 runs in his last three starts. Keller's only given up four. Keller's actually played very solid on the mound as of late. I think I'm going to take a shot with the Pirates plus one and a half on the road. Playing good baseball right now. On a, coming off a great Milwaukee series. I'll lean with the Pirates plus one and a half. Next matchup with the Washington Nationals versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Phillies opening up as home favorites at minus 215. Washington plus 175 with the over under at 8.5. Pitching for the Nationals is Josiah Gray with an area of 4.59. His last start he pitched 5 innings. Gave up 4 runs, had 6 strikeouts. Pitching for the Phillies is Kyle Gibson with an area of 4.60. His last start he pitched 6 innings. Gave up two runs and had four strikeouts. Phillies beating Washington yesterday 5-4. to four. They're 8-2 and two in their last 10. Playing very good baseball right now. Um, yeah, I just like what Phillies have been doing. Uh, I like Kyle Gibson on the mound. Um, not in love with Gray here. I'm going to leave with Phillies at home. Next matchup, we have the Atlanta Braves versus the New York Mets. Mets opening up as home favorites at minus 135. Braves um, plus 115 with the over on dread eight and a half. Pitching for the Braves is Ian Anderson with an area of 4.99. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up zero runs, had nine strikeouts. Pitching for the Mets is Taiwan Walker with an area of 2.79. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs and had four strikeouts. Yeah, Mets getting a win yesterday against the Braves, six to four. Definitely a close match up there. Mets are nine and one in their last ten. They're playing great baseball right now. Um, Mets four and one at home, playing good right now. It was a close game yesterday. I do like Walker on the mound for the Mets. Um. I think I'm going to have to take the Mets at home here. They're just playing really good. It is a close one. I don't hate the Braves. Um, they lose by two yesterday, so they weren't able to cover. You know, today is a new day, but I just like the Mets here. So I'm going to take New York at home. Next matchup, we have the Houston Astros versus the Cleveland Guardians. Houston opening up as um, road favorites at minus 200. Cleveland plus 165 with the over under at eight and a half. Pitching for Houston is Framber Valdez with an ERA of 2.80. His last start, he pitched seven innings, gave up three runs, and had um, seven strikeouts. Um. Pitching for, let's see, pitching for Houston, or I'm sorry, for, pitching for Cleveland, uh, we'll see, I'm seeing it's undecided, 
Um, let's see. I'm seeing it's Hunter Gaddis. I'm seeing him pop up. Looks like he's making his debut. If Hunter Gaddis is um, actually pitching, we will see. But uh, not looking good for Cleveland because, uh, yeah, that wouldn't be a great option. Houston on a two-game winning streak coming off a 6-0 win against Cleveland yesterday. 6-0 on the road against Cleveland as well. Yeah, I like Valdez on the mound here. Not in love with whoever ends up pitching for the Guardians. I'm taking Astros on the road. Next matchup, we have the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Detroit Tigers. Tampa Bay opening up as road favorites at minus 200. Detroit plus 165 with the over-under at 8.5. Pitching for the Rays is Corey Kluber with an ERA of 4.03. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up four runs, had 10 strikeouts. Pitching for the Tigers is Brian Garcia with an ERA of 4.91. His last start, he pitched three innings, gave up two runs, had three strikeouts. He's only pitched one time this season so far. Tampa coming off a 6-2 win yesterday against the Tigers. Tigers one and five in their last six right now. They've definitely been struggling a bit and um, I think I think I'm gonna lean with the Rays on the road here You know Kluber hasn't been the best on the mound his last three starts. He's given up four runs each You don't love that, but I just don't love Garcia Only pitched one time not too much experience under his belt here I'm gonna lean with the Rays on the road Next matchup with the Chicago White Sox versus the Texas Rangers. White Sox opening up as road favorites at minus 180. Texas plus 150 with the over under at 8. Pitching for the White Sox is Dylan Cease with an ERA of 2.01. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up one run, and had seven strikeouts. Pitching for the Rangers is Glenn Otto with an ERA of 5.50. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up four runs, and had five strikeouts. Pitching for the White Sox, I'm sorry, White Sox coming off a loss yesterday, three to two. Uh, tough loss for the White Sox, but uh, I think they bounce back today. I love Dylan Cease on the mound. I mean, he's only given up one run in his last three starts. He's been phenomenal for the White Sox. Um, yeah, Glenn Otto, averaging about three or four runs a game here. I think I'm going to take the White Sox on the road. Next matchup, we have the Boston Red Sox versus the Kansas City Royals. Uh, Royal or Red Sox opening up a slight road favorite at minus 115. The Royals minus 105 with the over-under at 9. Pitching for the Red Sox is Josh Winkowski with an ERA of 5.00. His last start, he pitched 5 innings. Gave up two runs, had one strikeout. Pitching for the Royals is Zach Granke with an ERA of 4.41. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up three runs and had three strikeouts. Kansas City beating Boston yesterday 7-3. Getting a nice underdog win. Boston on a two-game winning or two-game losing streak right now. And um I just don't trust the Red Sox, man. I just, I just don't. I'm gonna take Royals plus one and a half at home again. Played great yesterday. Red Sox, a very hard team to trust right now. So I'm gonna take the Royals at home. Next matchup, we have the Cincinnati Reds versus the Milwaukee Brewers. Brewers opening up as home favorites at minus 220. Cincinnati plus 180 with the over under at nine. Brewers um, pitching for the Reds is Robert Duggar with an ERA of 4.50. His last start, he pitched two innings, gave up two runs, had two strikeouts. Pitching for the Brewers is Eric Lauer with an ERA of 3.75. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up one run, and had four strikeouts. Yeah, Brewers coming into this on a four-game losing streak. Not playing the best right now. Reds 4-1 in their last five. Playing pretty good here. Um, I 
I just don't know if I could trust the Brewers, man. When they're minus 200, Brewers are so risky. They were big favorites that entire series against the against Pitt. Look at this. Minus 280, minus 210, minus 270. And they flat out lost every single game against Pittsburgh. Brewers are just too risky, man. They're too risky. I'd say stay away from them for a while. See what they can do this series, but... I'm going to take Reds plus one and a half on the road. Next matchup, we have the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Minnesota Twins. Toronto opening up as road favorites at minus 125. The Twins plus 105 with the over-under at nine. Pitching for the Blue Jays is Jose Barrios with an ERA of 4.96. His last start, he pitched seven innings. Gave up one run, had six strikeouts. Pitching for the Twins is Tyler Molly with an ERA of 4.14. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up two runs, had seven strikeouts. Toronto beating Minnesota yesterday, 9-3. Played very well yesterday. Toronto 5-1 on the road. Um, I'm going to leave with Toronto here. They played very well yesterday. And um, yeah, I don't know. I just like what I saw from Toronto. I'm taking the Blue Jays on the road. Next matchup, we have the New York Yankees versus the St. Louis Cardinals. Yankees opening up as road favorites at minus 145. Cardinals plus 125 with the over under at eight and a half. Uh, pitching for the Yankees is Nestor Cortez with an ERA of 2.53. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had five strikeouts. Pitching for the Cardinals is Dakota Hudson with an ERA of 4.10. His last start, he pitched four innings. Gave up two runs, had one strikeout. Yankees on a two-game losing streak coming off some losses against Seattle. St. Louis on a four-game winning streak coming off, you know, a nice sweep against the Cubs in that series. St. Louis is 5-0 and at home right now. And um I'm liking Cardinals plus one and a half at home here. I think he's coming off those you know one and three in their last four, so having like a rough week for the Yankees. And um Yeah, I'm only with St. Louis plus one and a half at home here. Next matchup we have the Colorado Rockies versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. Um, Arizona opening up as home favorites at minus 130. The Rockies plus 110 with the over under at 8.5. Pitching for the Rockies is Yerman Marquez with an ERA of 5.29. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up four runs, had four strikeouts. Pitching for Arizona is Madison Bumgarner with an ERA of 3.83. His last start, he pitched six innings. Gave up four runs, had zero strikeouts. Colorado coming off a nice one against the Padres yesterday. They are just one in five in their last six, though. Arizona also one in five in their last six. So both teams struggling this past week. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave a Colorado plus one and a half in this one. Next matchup, we have the Los Angeles Angels versus the Seattle Mariners. Mariners opening up as home favorites at minus 200. Miami, or I'm sorry, LA plus 170 with the over under at seven. Pitching for the Angels is Patrick Sandoval. Um, with an ERA at 3.41. His last start, he pitched five innings. Gave up two runs, had six strikeouts. Pitching for the Mariners is Robbie Ray with an ERA of 4.11. His last start, he pitched two innings, gave up four runs, and had three strikeouts. LA on a two game losing streak, coming off some losses against Oakland. Seattle on a two game winning streak, coming off back to back wins against the Yankees. I simply just don't trust the Angels, man. I just don't can't do it i'm taking seattle at home 
Next matchup, probably toughest matchup on the slate. We got the San Diego Padres versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dodgers opening up as home favorites at minus 155. The Padres plus 140 with the over under at eight and a half. Pitching for the Padres is Sean Manea with an array of 4.25. His last start, he pitched six innings, gave up two runs, had seven strikeouts. Pitching for the Dodgers is Tony Gonsolin with an ERA of 2.41. His last start, he pitched five innings, gave up three runs, and had six strikeouts. Padres just 1-9 and nine against the Dodgers with a due struggle. Uh, coming off that Colorado loss, but nonetheless, you know, 5-1 in their last six. They're playing good. LA on a five-game winning streak, coming off a Giants four-game sweep. Um, yeah, tough matchup here. Two good teams with two new, you know, two new um, lineups, new players on their team with Soto and Gallo. Tough matchup here, but I think I'm going to lean with the Dodgers at home. I just like that they've been dominant against the Padres. Padres really do struggle against the Dodgers and on the road against the Dodgers. We're going to see how the Dodgers play. I don't hit the Dodgers with plus money, um, but I'm going to stick with the home team, and I'm taking the Dodgers at home. And then the last matchup, we have the Miami Marlins versus the Chicago Cubs. I can't find the, a current line on this game, guys. Uh, but I do have the pitching info. Pitching for the Marlins is Edward Cabrera with an ERA of 3.45. His last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up five runs, had two strikeouts. Pitching for the Cubs is Justin Steele with an ERA of 3.86. His last start, he pitched three innings. Gave up zero runs and had six strikeouts. Miami, 1-5 in their last six, coming off a 3-0 win against uh, the Reds. Cubs coming into this on a five-game losing streak. Definitely been struggling here. Um, not in love with this matchup here. Not in love with the Cubs struggling big time in this one. Um, we'll see what the line ends up being here. But, you know, Miami 4-1 and one on the road against the Cubs here. I think I'm going to take a shot with the Marlins plus one and a half on the road with the Cubs struggling. Um, did not play good in that St. Louis series at all. Could barely cover. Struggled hitting. I'm going to take a shot with Marlins plus one and a half. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Friday. Hope you guys cash out and I'll see you guys Saturday. Have a good one.